Tom, what would Bill do if Robert Kraft came to him and said, you're still my head coach, Don Shula, 18 wins away. I mean, that is still reachable, and I want you to do that here. But, Bill, if you're going to coach in 2024, I'm hiring a GM. And that's it. Take it or leave it. Well, that would mean you're going to blow out the personnel group, meaning Macro, who is um, Bill's director of player personnel right now, and all the coaches that Bill fostered. I think it, I think it'd be hard for Bill to accept that. Would it be impossible? I don't know that it's impossible, but I think it would be impossible for Bill if he didn't have a hand in deciding who was coming in to help. Um, it goes back to the Parcells. They want you to cook the meal. They got to let you shop for the groceries. So I think that Bill would more than balk at that idea. But the facts are the facts. Whether it's Isaiah Wynn or Trent Brown or Nikhil Harry, these players that the Patriots, they don't spend on players, and the players that they spend on don't work out. And Jacoby Myers is an absolute shining example of a player that the Patriots unearthed who was very, very, very effective for them, the most effective offensive player they had from 2020 through 2022 and they didn't want to pay him because they wanted to move on from him because they didn't think he was that good. And they went and found somebody who had absolutely no connection to the team who was injured and passed his prime and brought him in to replace him in Juju Smith Schuster. So So when you, when you got somebody, Andrew sitting in front of you, whether it's Tom Brady or Jacoby Myers, and you can't tell how good he is, That's a friggin' problem. Tom, what we're describing, what you're describing, is in essence an existential crisis here. How does this team continue to exist as it is? Or if you blow it up, how do you reform it? What is the end game? How does this end? It ends by eventually, I mean, what eventually will happen is Bill will not catch Don Shula and there will probably be a mutual parting of the ways. I mean, that's that's the way it's... After it's, this season? No. Yeah, I think it's hard to make... Barring continued 31-point losses, you go through the season with Bill and then say, we've regressed. The quarterback's on his rookie contract. He was good. Now he's not. He regressed. You made some really horrible decisions in 2022 with the coaching staff and it left a lasting mark on this team. The offensive line has regressed. The players that you brought in aren't good enough. It's not working anymore, Bill. And you think it's phrased as a mutual parting of the ways? I have no idea. Honestly, I don't know if Bill accedes to that. I think that's generally what people have believed to be the case. But, um, I think Bill's a prideful guy with sure. an ego, and I don't think the Bill thinks that. I think the Bill would still think I can fix it. So whether he assents to putting that kind of a press release out and says that or not, that'd be interesting to to see as well. Do Do you think? And I, I go back, Tom. You remember to to Robert Kraft at the owners' meetings in Arizona back in March when he stood there and he was pressed repeatedly about you know is Bill going to break Shula as a Patriot, and and he said, I want to make the playoffs this year. It's not about individual records, never been about individual records for our players, won't be for our coaches. I want to make the playoffs this year. That seems like a long shot. I know there there were some people that thought, well, maybe Gerard Mayo's name is brought into this conversation right now. Didn't happen. Do you foresee a situation where maybe if it does continue to be this bad, they say, hey, this guy's the coach in waiting, and actually make it official and say something like that to – to ease this transition the second half of the season? I don't think something, again, yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't think it had happened during the season because it would be humiliating for Bill in some ways. And he's got two of his sons on the team. Mm -hmm. And Gerard is, you know, uh, a pseudo son and Troy Brown and all of the people in the scouting department. They're all so loyal to Bill as they should be because they've all profited wonderfully as have I and so many of us in the media for the content that Bill Belichick, Tom Brady and Robert Kraft provided. But I think that that would be very difficult to do anything in season to kneecap a legend like that because of the fallout. It's not like replacing Matt Eberflus or Ron Rivera or anybody else who's struggling. Sure. Of course. He's got a whole staff that grew up under him. 
Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.